for the last like three days I've been getting my teeth absolutely kicked in by fish smallmouth carp whatever you name it I've been getting my teeth kicked in so I'm gonna try and relax today and head out try to get after some smallmouth and hopefully catch a few first part of the afternoon I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking um, just because there's some spots that I really don't fish a whole lot like I have some holes here but I'm trying to fish some new water and I think I have found some so I am going to get in the water I believe because that all looks like nice little rock some little rockies over there in the water. I only brought a jig though, that's the only problem. There we go. Oh, I missed him. He wasn't bad. That's not a bad little one. See if he'll come after again. Drag slip. Why was I sent my drag solo? Missed them though. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, first smallie of the day. Isn't the object of your guys' game to keep it out of the water? <laughs> pretty sure that smallmouth that I caught was the one that missed it the first time. I watched him come up and eat it though. That was pretty cool. Big. Came on. <laughs> oh, there's a big one. There's a big one. I don't want to say that. Oh, he would have dropped it. There's a little. <laughs> Two, three. Oh, I lost my trailer. I don't think I have any jig trailers on me. I have zero jig trailers with me. Why did I bring zero jig trailers. Walking barefoot right now, which is not the most ideal way to walk, but it is quite soothing and relaxing to do. I have, I'm trying, I'm gonna try and work on a five fish limit today. I've got two on the board right now, which are probably only like, give me a total about like three pounds, but for this river, it's not bad. It's about the average. So, I gotta go get jig trailers and hopefully tie on a popper. Let's see where today goes. I've never fished this stretch of water before. Never caught fish like that, so I might have to fish it later again. I'm 
Not smart. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Much better. Okay, I just don't, I'm just not feeling the spot. You know, I think that's what it is. is I'm just not feeling it. I think I'm gonna head back to where I started the day off. Back over by that little rock in shallow water. That seems to be holding fish. Oh my god! Oh my god! How? Oh. oh my god, is that a pterodactyl? In the last like hour, hour and a half, I've just been getting my butt absolutely handed to me by smallmouth. Like, I don't know, they just aren't committing to my jig, I guess, maybe? I don't know. It's been a rough, rough last hour and a half. So believe me or not, I'm charging my GoPro because it's about to die and this camera's about to die as well. Stuck a small mouth. <laughs> like, okay. Believe me or not, I caught him though. I caught him in my head, I caught him. God, that's, it's been that kind of day. It just has been that kind of day. Okay, GoPro is charged, so let's try to do this with a camera on this time. He's still there. There we go, finally. Finally. Oh, there we go. Pop off. There we go, finally. Finally, finally, finally got one. Feisty little skinny, 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 skinny boy. Beautiful fish though. Look at how pretty these things are though. Real or small mouth, nothing gets better. <laughs> nothing gets better than that, man. That fills out my limit, I think. I think I got five. Uh, maybe I got four. I think I got four. Watch this. Watch this hooks up. No! Oh! oh, he came off. <laughs> he came off. I pinned him hard. That felt like a good fish. There we go. Momo. Definitely the smallest one of the day. There's a, there's a decent one. Yep. They're getting smaller as the day goes on, I guess. I guess that's the trend. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up today's little video. Yeah, so it definitely felt good to be able to get out and get after some river smallmouth. But it's something I really haven't been able to do ever since the UP trip. Which I finally got all done and uploaded so you can go check that out somewhere on my channel. I wanted to briefly talk about the technique that I was using which was just basically throwing a jig and a little chunk trailer. I wouldn't say it's the most effective way to be able to get out and catch river smallmouth. The most effective way 
I personally think is either like a small popper, like this big, like little, that big, small popper, a wacky rig, a uh, Ned rig, a uh, Nico rig, you know, anything finesse. Wow, why are you doing this to me? Anything small and finesse, probably be your go-to ticket if you wanna just go out and have fun and catch a crap ton of fish. I'm stubborn, so I like to catch them one way when I go out, and that's why I was throwing a jig pretty much all day. The setup that I was using was just a 7.3 medium heavy rod with a 7.0 to one gear ratio reel and then 12 pound test. Uh, 12 pound test just because I could get away with it in the river. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe to my channel. Check out my Instagram page. It's gonna be right there. You can go follow that and kind of keep up with uh, what I'm doing on the water. Get out, rig something up, go rip some lips. These next couple months are probably gonna be the best months of fishing until next spring. So get out there, rig something up, go rip some lips. I'll see you next time. The next time, or the time, I don't know. Yeah.